Lego Space is a Lego theme that features astronauts, spaceships, and extraterrestrial life. Originally introduced in 1978, it is one of the oldest and most expansive themes in Lego history, and contains over 200 individual sets. It was marketed under the Legoland banner until it became Lego System in 1992. History Topic: Early Space 1964 to 1973. At least three Lego sets were released prior to so-called classic space theme, pre-dating the standard Lego minifigure. The early space sets were limited by color selection and more specialized pieces had not yet been developed with most Lego sets of this era were composed of colorful stacked bricks. Once Lego began making individual themes in the 1970s, many new parts were created and older parts began appearing in new colors. Topic Classic Space nineteen seventy eight to nineteen eighty seven. The first Lego space sets began an era of more complicated and less colorful designs with a heavy emphasis on space exploration. Much of the early space sets consisted of blue, gray, white, and transparent yellow and occasionally blue and green. Designs began using more stacked plates instead of stacked bricks in order to make sleeker spaceship profiles. In its earliest stages, space sets consisted only of ships and basic wheeled vehicles. But as science fiction designs grew, the basic pattern of ground buggies, walking robots, small and large spaceships, and bases developed. With the limited part selection at the time, sets were still fairly simplistic with designs including, minifigure pilots steering their spacecraft with steering wheels, rocket engines could be simple transparent cones affixed to fence pieces, and visor-less helmets and often no in-flight pilot protection other than a spacesuit. The first minifigures released in this theme in 1978 wore either a red or white spacesuit with yellow spacemen debuting a year later. By the mid-1980s, the color palette had shifted to predominantly white with a transparent blue theme, later used extensively in the Futuron theme, and two new colors of spacemen were introduced in blue and black uniforms. The first helmets had thin chin straps that would break with normal use. Then in 1979, the helmet with thicker chin straps appeared. Topic: Futuron 1987 to 1990. In 1987, Lego added factions to its space theme with the introduction of Blacktron and the new subtheme based on space exploration was given the name, Futuron. The new line kept the white and blue color scheme used in the later years of classic space but redesigned its minifigures. 
They came in four colors red, blue, yellow and black, but had a new design with a zipper crossing from hip to shoulder and the color on top with white below, as well as utilizing a newly redesigned helmet that had a transparent blue visor. Instead of a large spaceship, the theme centered around the monorail transport system, which featured a battery-powered train system and some 20 linear feet of track. At the time, this was the most expensive LEGO set. <laughs> Blacktron Along with Futuron, Blacktron was one of the first unified sub-themes in space. The set designs were based around a black and yellow color scheme with transparent yellow windscreens and transparent red highlights. Blacktron minifigures wore black jumpsuits akin to today's military pilots, with white trim and opaque black visors. Blacktron was a major step forward in set design from the rather clunky designs of classic space. It featured a large spacecraft, the Renegade, which set the tone for all future big ships by splitting into a number of smaller modules, including a storage bin for a small wheeled vehicle that could be recombined not just with each other, but with modules from other vehicles in the theme, specifically the Invader and Batrax. This modular interchangeability became a staple of LEGO space until 1995. <laughs> space Police 1989. In 1989, LEGO further its storyline direction with the introduction of Space Police to oppose Blacktron, since police and robbers were popular sellers in its LEGO Town theme. The Space Police sets had a black, blue, with red transparent color scheme and the minifigures shared the torso design with the black Futuron minifigure, but with a transparent red visor. This would be the first time that LEGO had a ''bad guy'', ''good guy'', and ''civilian''. Faction, a theme that would be used for the next decade. Space Police also utilized modular systems but on a smaller scale by featuring a Space Police jail cell that could be used interchangeably among almost all sets and came with a Blacktron occupant. M. Tron In 1990, LEGO designed its next theme around magnets. After the introduction of Space Police, M. Tron was introduced as a repair and rescue faction, a space equivalent of a fire brigade. However, for the American market the faction was depicted as a mining and exploration faction, adapting the names of the sets and the descriptions in the catalogs to reflect this. In catalog pictures and on posters the M. Tron are frequently seen helping Futuron and repairing their vehicles, and the LEGO Idea Book 260 features instructions for what appears to be an M. Tron ambulance. Vehicles of the M. Tron theme are distinctive for their red hulls, gray and black trim and transparent neon green canopies. They often featured crane-like attachments with magnets for picking up small cargo and tool boxes. 
These boxes, unfortunately, were generally not interchangeable. The figures wore white trousers, a red shirt with an M logo in the middle, and a black helmet with transparent neon green visor. This theme also extensively used brick-built robot figures droids", to assist the M. Tron spacemen. These were the last sets produced under the Legoland banner before LEGO began branding their sets as LEGO System. <laughs> Blacktron Future Generation In 1991, Blacktron was revived as Blacktron Future Generation or commonly called Blacktron 2. Sets color designs were featured around black with white trim and transparent neon green canopies and the minifigures were redesigned with new uniforms and logo. It also replaced the creative but haphazard interchangeability of Blacktron I with mostly uniform cockpit globes, which could be switched unimpeded between ships in other sets within the theme. However, only four sets of eleven featured them the Alpha Centauri Outpost, Spectral Starguider, Aerial Intruder, and the Allied Avenger. Some fans were also disappointed that, aside from a proliferation of small 50 element or less vehicles, Blacktron 2 seemed to be mostly a rehash of Blacktron I on a set-by-set -set basis. Topic: <laughs> Space Police 2, 1992-1993. The following year, Space Police was also revived, becoming Space Police 2, to oppose the new Blacktron. The set designs featured black and gray with transparent green canopies and red trim. The standardized jail cells from the original were retained, though only three vehicles could accept them. The theme also lacked a permanent installation like Space Police I's Space Lock Up Isolation Base. However, it was the first space theme to replace the standard Lego smiley face minifigure head with a more complex print in this case, the face augmented by a fringe of hair and an ear-mounted microphone. Finally, Space Police 2 ships were known for being under armed, several vehicles sported no overt weapons, such as the Galactic Chief, whose epaulette wearing pilot is armed with only a handheld blaster that might actually be a megaphone, and the others featured only two small cockpit mounted weapons, including the theme's heavyweight multi module spaceship, the Galactic Me. Topic: Ice Planet 2002, 1993–1994. In 1993, Ice Planet 2002 took over the civilian role from M. Tron. Based around exploration on an ice planet, sets were designed with skis both on vehicles and personnel, a blue and white color scheme with transparent neon-orange canopies, and transparent neon-orange chainsaws. As befitting an ice-bound theme, most of its vehicles were ground-based and many of its smaller vehicles also carried satellite dishes, seemingly to track or communicate with the rockets launched by the larger vehicles or its base. 
This was also the first space theme to have a named character, Commander Cold, and a female minifigure. Topic: <laughs> Spirius 1994-1995 In 1994, Spirius replaced Blacktron as the bad faction and were apparently designed around spying and infiltration. The set designs were mostly red and black with transparent blue canopies. Most spaceships in this theme were shaped like flying saucers and the ground vehicles were designed like giant robots. The faction was often marketed as stealing technology from Unitron. This nine-set theme was the first to feature robot minifigures. Topic: <laughs> Unitron 1994-1995 Unitron took over the ''Good Guy'' role from the Space Police 2. The Unitron theme revolved around a large monorail system powered by a 9 volts battery and the four sets were designed in blue and grey with transparent blue canopies and transparent neon green highlights. It also retained Lego interchangeability in the form of small cockpits which could dock on the front or top of its vehicles. Unfortunately, aside from a ground installation, a large buggy, an advanced-looking spaceship, and the monorail, the theme was underdeveloped. Except for the monorail set, the theme was only released in the United States and Canada. Topic: Explorians 1996. In 1996 LEGO returning to the white and transparent blue canopies of Futuron with the Explorians theme. Sets are known for their use of large, open sometimes rickety structures and special image elements e.g., as foil holograph stickers for viewscreens. The Explorians were searching, evidently, for fossils and certain flat plates contained triple images, one in white, for the naked eye, one in blue, for viewing under transparent red scanners, and one in red, for viewing under transparent blue scanners. It was the second space theme to include a robot minifigure. Some also considered this the second space theme to include a female minifigure, but this minifigure was a feminine robot named Android. The theme shares many similarities with the popular Star Trek TV series, with the faction's main focus being with exploration, their robot figure's name being a play on «Android», and their race's insignia resembling Starfleet's insignia. Roboforce 1997 In 1997 taking over the good guy role was another four set theme Roboforce the sets featured various large robots in varying color schemes run by similarly uniformed pilots Neon Orange class features humanoid robots equipped with a buzz saw or a chainsaw. The head of each robot was also a small spaceship that could be used as an escape pod or secondary vehicle. Neon Green class featured animal-shaped robots. 
The Robo Raptor was the only set not to feature a spacecraft, while the Robo Master's small starcraft strongly resembled the Unitron Star Hawk II as a tribute to the fan favorite set. Robo Force Robos were powered by secret Robo Discs which were oddly enough rectangle-shaped power sources. The theme was only released in USA. UFO <inaudible> 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 UFO was the first LEGO space theme to feature non-human-looking aliens. All of UFO's minifigures were cybernetic in nature, and featured two holy robot figures the red one was said to be, "...Andy Droid." Android's brother stolen from the Explorians, according to the Lego company marketing, and as befitting its name, many of its spaceships used saucers or half saucers as elements. It has the smallest proportion of wheeled ground vehicles to ships two to nine of any Lego space theme before or since. The UFO theme is often considered the first space theme to heavily rely on large pieces meant to provide effects such as curvature that would be difficult to achieve with traditional Lego pieces, something that became common for the next decade. Topic Insectoids The second alien-looking race, the insectoids were insect-like humanoid cyborgs especially interested in «energy orbs» which included magnetic stickers so that magnets attached to cranes could lift them. Insectoids are unusual in that LEGO had never before in LEGO space released two bad guy factions in a row. According to the LEGO group, the insectoids had crash landed on an alien planet filled with enormous bugs, and in order to steal their giant egg orbs to refuel their spaceships and escape, they were forced to disguise themselves and their spaceships as bugs. After escaping the planet, the insectoid went out into the galaxy to make life miserable for the other races with their mischievous and pest-like nature, while looking for more «energy orbs» to power their technology. The insectoids are usually considered to be the last classic space subtheme in which the entire theme is «good» bad", or «civilian». With the advent of LEGO Star Wars, the classic LEGO space line was ended. <laughs> Life on Mars 2001. Life on Mars is a space theme released in 2001, around a time of increased curiosity about the Red Planet. The theme revolved around the concept of the lifeforms that could possibly exist on Mars. This theme and the following Martian-themed sets are not generally considered to be part of classic LEGO space and are often considered to be offshoots of LEGO Town. This was the first theme to feature two types of minifigures, human astronauts from LEGO Town and Martian aliens native to Mars. The sets denote peaceful coexistence between the two species on the planet Mars. The Life on Mars theme pioneered several unique aspects in LEGO in general. 
it was the first LEGO theme to utilize a pneumatic pump system that was capable of sending Martian minifigures through tubes in the 7317 Aero tube hangar set. This system would later be seen in the Mars mission theme to shoot missiles. The theme also introduced several new muted colors to the LEGO color palette, including sand green, sand blue, sand red, and sand purple. Sets were designed to separate into segments easily to encourage children to mix and create their own unique vehicles out of both human and alien sets. Martians in the Life on Mars theme were unique in that they were named after real-life stars and constellations, Altair, Centauri, Antares, Canopus, Pollux, Vega, Arcturus, Cassiopeia, Mizar, and Rigel. Mars Mission 2007-2008 Mars Mission is the second space theme to feature both humans and aliens and as a reboot of life on Mars. Unlike life on Mars, the aliens, a different breed of Martians, and humans were pitted against each other as children had been fond of doing with the original line. Like with life on Mars theme, this set is generally viewed as a sequel to the first Martian set and likewise an offshoot of Lego Town. Topic: Space Police 3, 2009-2010. Space Police 3 continued the Lego trend of humans, or at least human-looking, versus aliens started in the former Mars mission theme. This is the first time the Space Police have been pitted against monstrous-looking aliens instead of human-looking villains, like Blacktron or Spireus. It is also the first Space Police theme to include enemy ships instead of just prisoners and is the first Space Police theme in 16 years. A gang, including, Cran XX, Snake, the Skull Twins, Slicer and Squidman, are the main troublemakers for Space Police 3 with independent, frenzy, keeping them busy as well. However, Wrench bears the old Blacktron Future Generation logo on his uniform which is an updated original Blacktron uniform, hinting that he may have a connection with the old Blacktron faction, as well as hinting that the Space Police are in the same continuity as their older versions. Unlike the Martian-themed sets before it, Space Police 3 is generally thought of as the first theme to return to the more classic LEGO space theme. <laughs> Alien Conquest 2011. Alien Conquest was released in May 2011, and is the first LEGO City subtheme to feature aliens on Earth. Specifically a new wave of aliens begins attacking Earth. Multiple cities around the globe report massive abductions and UFOs in the night sky. The UFOs are finally identified as aliens in saucer-shaped spacecraft, who are abducting humans for brainpower to power their spaceships, which bear resemblance to the classic UFO line of space. Panic breaks out worldwide, and the Alien Defense Unit takes up the cause. Using their ubiquitous blue vehicles, they fight back against the aliens, stopping abductions in their tracks. 
Like the previous Martian themes, these set are not generally included with LEGO Space and are officially considered part of LEGO City. Topic: <laughs> Galaxy Squad 2013 2013 space specific theme Galaxy Squad features a team of intergalactic heroes and robot sidekicks trying to defeat an alien race of humanoids with insect features intent on cocooning the galaxy with special two piece cocoons that can each enclose a standard minifigure. The vehicles of the heroes feature a notable split function ability which allows them to split into two different vehicles topic <inaudible> <inaudible> timeline of lego space themes topic <inaudible> <inaudible> other space related lego sets Topic Licensed themes Several licensed Lego themes have featured space elements as well. The most notable licensed theme with space elements is Star Wars, produced since 1999. Nearly 700 LEGO Star Wars sets have been produced so far, as well as four video games and numerous other licensed merchandise. 2003's Discovery theme produced six sets related to past and present NASA efforts at the time, including the Apollo program, the Space Shuttle, the International Space Station, and the Mars Exploration Rover mission. 2010's Toy Story theme produced Buzz's Star Command spaceship, which is based on the Buzz Lightyear toys background from that universe. Since 2012, LEGO has produced sets from both the Marvel and DC comic book universes, both of which feature many elements derived from space. In 2015, LEGO released a set under its ideas theme based on the BBC science fiction TV series Doctor Who, along with two expansion packs for the Toys to Life video game LEGO Dimensions. <laughs> LEGO Town Space sub -themes. LEGO has produced four subthemes with space-related content for its town and city themes, Launch Command, Space Port, City Space 2011, and City Space 2015. Each of these subthemes involves a realistic, Earth-based approach to space exploration. These subthemes are not considered to be official LEGO space themes. Other 2008 saw the release of two space sets through the LEGO factory theme. Star Justice and Space Skulls were fan-designed sets released as special edition sets available only through LEGO. In 2017, LEGO Creator had two space-related sets, the ''Robot Explorer'' and the ''Space Shuttle Explorer''. LEGO Ideas, previously known as LEGO Quasu, a program which allows users to submit their own ideas for commercial sets, has produced two sets related to real-life space efforts so far. 
Hayabusa is based on the spacecraft Hayabusa created by the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, and Mars Science Laboratory Curiosity rover is based on Curiosity, a rover created by NASA that explores the surface of Mars. In 2017, Two sets were released, one based on the Saturn V rocket used during the Apollo 11 mission, and the other called, ''Women of NASA'' that contained four out of the five minifigures from the original project, with Katherine Johnson missing due to licensing issues. The four minifigures that were made, though, were Sally Ride, Margaret Hamilton, Mae Jemison, and Nancy Grace Roman. In addition, it has released one non-licensed set based on the classic space line in 2014, the Exo Suit set number 21109, which includes two minifigures in a new green version of the classic space uniform. In 2014, a set titled Benny's Spaceship, Spaceship, Spaceship Set number 70816 was released as a tie into the Lego movie, which featured many references to past Lego space themes. The spaceship itself is highly reminiscent of classic space spaceships, with a predominantly blue and grey color scheme. The pilot of the ship, Benny, voiced by Charlie Day, is a blue classic space minifigure with notable signs of wear and tear, including a broken chin strap on his helmet. A set from the spin-off film The Lego Batman Movie called the Bat Space Shuttle was also released in 2018.